three, two, one. Pause. This is Good Noodle, the world's biggest instant noodle convenience store located in the basement floor of the Union Mall. What's unique about this place is their automated ramen machines that can cook your noodles to perfection. With over 100 types of noodles in one place, this is truly the largest self-service ramen store of its kind. The ideal noodle lover's paradise. Watch as we show you step-by-step -step guide on how you can utilize your time there with tips and tricks that can benefit both an experienced noodle enthusiast to a noodle newbie. Also, stay tuned to the end of this video where we'll be showing you the cost of everything we purchase at Good Noodle. Now that that's out of the way, let's continue. Good noodle place. Uh, I've seen this restaurant in many like shorts and vlogs and they have hundreds of variations of instant noodles from different countries from Korea to China to Thai. So I'm really interested to see what they have. It's sort of like a self-service kind of thing. So you pick up your noodles, you pick up your toppings and you uh, add the water in yourself and make it any kind of variations that you like. So really excited to try and I'm very hungry so let's go. Look at that one. Oh gosh. Are you gonna get that one? No, I don't think so. No, heck no. No, it's okay. Thailand's already hot. I don't wanna like sweat too hard. Yeah, that's true. It's the spiciest ramen in the world. You know, I, I, really, I have this noodle that I really like growing up. It's yeah. like a, basically a YY uh -huh. um, pachina, basically like a, mm -hmm. it's a dry noodle. Uh -huh. Like really spicy. Back when I was young. It tastes really good. Recently was this brand, this but brand? I don't think they have it anymore. Yeah, I don't see it here. Oh. It was like my, my, my favorite growing up. This one, right? This brand. This brand, but I don't know. It's more like a different flavor. I don't uh. think they have it anymore. Okay. Oh, um, this is the noodle. This is the flavor, but it's a different brand. Oh. So actually, I, I might try this one. Okay. Yeah, so I'll put this one in here for now. Is that a soup noodle? It's, it's a dry noodle. Dry noodle. It's okay. that flavor. But uh -huh. from this brand that I like. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm gonna try Mama Bun because I never tried it. Okay, sounds like, good. Maybe. The spiciness level. Oh yeah. Right? So I just had a gauge, like you know, what, like how spicy it is. Like um, I'm gonna try to find something that I tried before. Uh huh. I'm gonna see how many spicy level it is, and I'm trying to go from there. Okay. Are you unsure of what spice levels you can take? Try finding noodles that you've tried at home and look at the spice levels to gauge what level of spice you can take. Tony's more of a um, like know what he wants in an um, instant noodle more so than me because I don't really eat that much. So um, I'm just gonna look around see if there's anything that's interesting that I would prefer to have. Huh? Stir fry kimchi ramen. It's a bestseller. Maybe you can try. It. If I don't find anything better than this, I, um, then I will stick with this one got this I like dry noodles the next step is we're gonna be picking toppings so this is a topping station so Tony's gonna be picking out which toppings I think I want green noodle on all of them yeah me too green onions are a must four green onions four green onions oh you want some crab uh, meat you want some, you want some uh... yeah I'll try it Okay. You want uh, corn? Yes, please. I love How many? corn. Uh, two, please. Corn. You want fish ball? What else you want? Uh. Oh, that's actually crab. Ooh, you want to try? Uh, few. Yeah, l let's try it. Oh, let's get one of these like cartoony um, little ones. Yeah. Okay. I'll try one. <laughs> and there's bacon and cheese. Oh, definitely cheese. You want cheese? How many? Um, let me think. Two. Well, actually, one. One. One will do. What is the gyoza? Oh, gyozas. Mm. There's a uh, fish ball, fish, uh, the trim eggs. Oh. I'm really excited for the egg, though. This um, is... four eggs. Uh, yes, please. Make sure you choose wisely what kinds of toppings you want. The cost can add up, as we will find out shortly. This is basically um, an already cooked egg. Half cooked egg. I think. Half cooked egg. Like onsen. Onsen egg, yeah. Oh, 
I forgot they do have like uh, cheese, but like in a stringy kind. Do you think we should get this rather than the? Oh, I think I think this one's better. You want to mix with the noodle, right? Yeah, yeah, mix with the noodle. Yeah. Oh, and they have kim they have kimchi. Do you want some kimchi in there? Um, I'm okay, I think. All right. The next step is to find a drink that we like. Um, I already found out what I would like. Um, I would love to try this lychee and peach drink, so I'm gonna grab that. Lychee and peach drink. Yes. I think this is gonna be important because like, you take some spicy stuff, so maybe you yes. uh, can cut through the spice. Ideally get a sweet drink, especially if you choose spicy food. It can come back to the spicy, plus a refreshing beverage after noodles is the best. Now that we've uh, got our drinks, we got our toppings, we got our instant noodle, we're going to be paying for it now. Oh, how come we're using this one? No, the only one for soup. Oh, I see, gotcha. Depending on what noodles you get, dry or soupy, it comes with different bowls designed for cooking your noodles. Alright, we are now here at the eating area. Uh, these are all dry noodles right here. And we have our drink. Uh, Tony um, picked out this peach drink. Looks pretty interesting. And I chose this pe lychee and peach flavor drink. So we got all of our toppings right here. So basically, Tony, you're just gonna be opening it up and then we're just gonna put in. So we'll get the dry one, you have to do it over there. There's, yes. like, there's a soup one. Okay, so there's the, the dry one. You have to do where? Over there. And then. Okay, so this area is only for the the dry noodle area right here. We have a list of noodles here that. Each machine has a list of ramen that is appropriate for this machine. Not all, but most of the popular ones. Show you. Oh, they got scissors here. That's very convenient. Oh, okay. So then the water is dripping down. Oh, it's up. No, no, I think it's a dryer. So they don't put too much. Oh, I see. They don't put too much. And it's actually... If you can hear, it's boiling. So basically, you put all your your noodles, your toppings in, then you press M1, and then it'll start. We can just keep on the bottom, huh? Pretty yeah. Interesting. So in the last 30 seconds, you put in the cheese and all the other, all the other flavor. Okay. And this is a timer, right? Yep. Or, okay, cool. You say that moves, stir it around a little bit to make sure the noodle doesn't stick to the paper. Okay. It's the water kind of evaporating, so... Oh yeah, that's perfect. Can you guys see the water evaporating? It's like... It's appearing. So in the last 30 seconds, we're going to put all the, everything else in there. Yes. Water in there. Black bean saucy. I guess the cheese is a little late, but you know. No, I, I feel like it's still gonna start, still gonna heat up. Yeah. Okay, so that's the first one. This is our first dish. It's, this is it. So we put in a crab meat, uh, onsen egg, cheese, green onions. It looks pretty good. It's gonna break the egg. Oh yeah. Look at that. Don't worry about like getting all the ingredients in, but it's gonna still cook. Like you can see the cheese melting, even though we put them like dead last. You like the chapakuri flavor with the eggs and green onion? I do. Oh wow, that's spicy. I didn't think it would be spicy for some reason. This is delicious. The noodles, very chewy. How do you like the automated cooking? Do you think it's cooked just right? I think so. I think they tried their best to kind of plug it to like the, the peak. Look at that. Honestly, the whole meal is uh, 450 baht. Pretty expensive for mm -hmm. <laughs> the noodle. <laughs> I think because all the extra we get. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tony's gonna try first bite. Mm. 
Is it good? I like with the onion. Mm hmm. I like it. Delicious. I mean, I didn't notice it's gonna be pretty good, I think. I thought I heard from a lot of people. Mm hmm. I just wanna try it because of Parasite. Okay, we're just gonna finish this up and then we're gonna go to the next one. Okay, next one is the Quattro cheese one. We have, we have this one at home technically, but then I still want to try it. Mm -hmm. Both of us have never tried these. Let's see. I think this one, if you add cheese, I think it'll be really good too. Mm. Mm. Spicy? Mm. No. Not spicy at all. At no, all, it's huh? Be spicy. Wow, okay. Look at my little bear. You killed the little bear. No. Mmm. Mmm, this one's I love this. Good. I, I have no idea what you just said. Good. Okay. I try it for the very first time. Hmm. You like the Jap the first one better? Oh, okay. All right. I like this one better just because it's not spicy. Tony's gonna try the drink. This peach. It's like carbonated too. Oh, carbonated peach drink. According to Google, what Google sorted out, New York Times said that cup noodles is the most sold, the most strongest brand of instant noodle because it's from Japan. Oh. We we're talking about like which one is the most popular one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think um, I think Thailand's really big, Korea's really big, and Japan's really big on instant noodles as well. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Nissin, Samyang, Maruchan, mm -hmm. Mama, I think those are probably the, the real known. What do you have there, Tony? Okay, it's ready. Um, I already feel my disappointment brewing because <laughs> I think it's too much water. Uh -huh. it's, it, it's a very small packet compared to the rest. Uh -huh. So I think it was too much water. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, I can't blame it. It's an automated machine, right? Yeah. And then uh, the, the, the smell is a little bit different from what I remember. So uh, I think it's very hot right now, so I'm going to wait a little bit here. Okay. I, I went from having really high hopes to now I just kind of like, the hopes are very low mm -hmm. for this one. So this is very different from what I remember. Here, here you try first. Well, in case it's poison. Ha ha ha. All right, first time trying this. I have no expectation. She doesn't like it. You can see it in her face. It's good, but the noodles are overcooked. It tastes good, but. Not the same way I remember it. Mm -hmm. It's a different brand too after all, so... I'm sorry. It's not really fine. The next one is... It smells really spicy. You should look at this though. Mm -hmm. this, crap, this crap thing is pretty cool. Oh yeah, hey, it's yeah. like... Yeah. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's like a being like made to look this way or it's actually look this way. I feel like it's actually being made to look this way. Okay. Yeah, it looks too perfectly shaped, doesn't it? Oh, okay. How do you like the taste though? It's good. It's good. 
it's not, it's, um, the noodles are chewy. Um, it's not spicy, which is a plus for me. It's kind of on the plain side, I think. Okay. I don't mind this. I don't mind this at all. How does it fare compared to the, these other spoils of war over here? <laughs> Goodness. Um, I think this is still my number one. This might be my number two. This is third fourth. I feel like it's creamier than usual because of the add egg in. Mm -hmm. It kind of blended in with the sauce. We just want we just want lost because we didn't put eggs in, you know. Maybe next time. No, not spicy. Mm -hmm. You like it? I think for this one, you have to do two pack at the same time. Oh yeah, yeah. It was just too small. Yeah, too much water. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so out of all this, can you rate what's your number one? Okay, not your number one. What's your second? Okay, this one cooked right. Then that would be your number two? And this one. Okay, and then this one's last, huh? I mean, these two are like the same. I mean, okay, last doesn't mean it's bad. It just, I like it mm -hmm. less than others. Okay. All right, um, I guess that's all the ramen food that we purchased. I think um, it was pretty pricey for what it was, but I think it was because of the ambiance. Like, you can get your own noodles and you can make it yourself, and the extra topping may have increased the budget just a bit higher. Overall, I really like the experience. It's not too busy here, but maybe it's because we're in um, during an odd time. But uh, this is a great place to visit at least once, and I'm glad we did. I oh, oh my gosh, I forgot. We need to try this. It's good. It's not as it's very lightly flavored. I can taste the lychee. It tastes like milk. It tastes like milk with a hint of lychee. I mean, it's good. Like a lychee milk, basically. Yeah, lychee milk. N not really peachy flavored, huh? It's good, yeah. I think it's pretty good, though. Like a lychee milk. Yeah, it's good. This kind of ends the portion of the good noodle place. I'm glad I tried it the first time. Maybe we'll try it a second time. I'm not quite sure. I mean, there's still like a hundred other flavors that we haven't tried. The downside is that it's so far. Yeah. From where we stay. True, it's really far away from where we're staying, so... I mean, maybe the next time that we come back to Bangkok, we might be here, might be like here a bit closer. Or um, if we have friends that are visiting, this would be a great place to show them. I think it would be pretty interesting. I'm so glad that you joined me at this good noodle place. Here's a little sign here right behind me.